Hello, my name is Jennifer Flaus and I'm your project search instructor. I'm sure many of you remember me in the interview. I know that you guys are a little nervous, but I'm sure you remember me. We've met a couple of times. Um, I'm, welcome to the virtual new student orientation. Unfortunately, we are forced to do it um, virtually this year since we can't meet right now as groups. Um, so this is all new to me as well. But I'm happy that we can have this opportunity for me to discuss with you a little bit about Project Search in our upcoming year. So in order to do that, I am using um, a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to be sharing my screen with you so that you can see the slides as I discuss each one of them. Do that. Me down here. Okay, so here we are into the um, slide presentation that I'd like to use. Um, first, I would like to congratulate each of you for being accepted into the Project Search program. You each had a wonderful interview and we're very excited to begin working with each of you. Let me introduce you to our new crew. We have six young men and two young ladies representing Project Search next school year. We have Nate from Lyndon McKinley High School, Drew from West High School, Tyree and James from Centennial High School, Alexis from Fort Hayes High School, I'm sorry, and Chance also from Fort Hayes High School. We have Moses from Beechcroft High School and Lynn from Walnut Ridge High School. This group has so much work training experience through all the um, school programs that you have participated in. We have people here from Goodwill Environmental Services, Grant Hospital, Riverside Hospital, and Life Care Alliance. And I also have someone joining us that did the community-based program at Columbus Downtown High School last school year. Also, career camps and summer work programs. So all of you are going to learn so much from one another, and I'm excited to learn from all of you as well. So I'd like to spend some time sharing what Project Search is. I met with the majority of your parents and guardians, but there were a couple I was not able to meet. And this will also serve as a refresher of what Project Search is. So it's a program designed for students with disabilities who are between the ages of 18 and 22 who have met all of their graduation requirements. So that's each of you. In order to have been accepted into Project Search, you, you should have already met all of your graduation requirements. So the hard part's over. School's finished, and now we're gonna get into learning about work skills and living, independent living skills. And that's what this program offers. So it allows us to learn independent living skills, basic money management, budgeting, composing emails, speaking on the telephone, using effective communication skills, learning soft skills in a work environment, how to interview correctly. Uh, we talk about wellness and nutrition, being a team player and learning to have a positive attitude at work, which is definitely something we have to have when we're in a work environment. Some other things you will get out of the program. You're gonna find out what you like and what you do not like doing. That's the whole point of Project Search is so that we can help you determine where you wanna go after our program. You're gonna learn about your strengths and your weaknesses and how to build on your weaknesses. You're gonna work on appropriate pace while working and learn to be consistent each day in performing your work task. You're gonna to learn to communicate with people on the job. You're gonna learn how to recognize and cope with frustration in the workplace. So if you're easily frustrated or get angry, how to handle that when you're at work so that you don't lose your job. How to ask for help when you need it and the importance of good hygiene. So we're going to learn some valuable skills. You're going to be linked with a job coach to help learn 
um, each job. There's three rotations throughout the program. And we're basically preparing you for permanent part-time or full-time employment in the community with agency supports by the end of the project search program, which will be next May of 2021. Our goal is to have 100% placement of the project search interns. The ultimate goal is for you, for you to get employed after completing the program so you can begin earning your own paycheck. We want you to be successful and have purpose and want to go to work after this program. That's what we're setting you up for. So who's going to help? Who's going to help um, get you there along with me? Let me introduce you um, to who's going to be helping you. So here's our job coaches. Courtney, right here, Chelsea. They work for a company called Functional Training Services, or we like to say FTS. It's much easier to remember. And they are your job coaches throughout the school year. They are responsible for training you in each job rotation. Each intern will have the chance to work with both coaches. Again, there'll be three job rotations during your time at Project Search. Courtney and Chelsea will also be responsible for evaluating you each week on your work performance. We'll talk about that more once the program starts. But that is a valuable tool for us to use on what you need to work on, what you need to improve on before you go out into the real work world. At Project Search, you will work a total of four hours per day and an hour of classroom instruction with me. So, what are some of the types of jobs that you'll be working with in a hotel? We'll be working over the summer with the hotel and specific jobs available, but these are some they have shared to date. So these are some of the jobs that the hotel has said that will be available and again, this is all new, so we're going to be working on um, adding jobs um, throughout the school year or, or through the summer, I should say. Um, so some of the jobs they shared with me um, is dishwasher. So um, washing the dishes, um, scraping, sorting, stacking, loading them into the dishwasher, adding the soap, how to operate the, the restaurant dishwashers. Um, conference room setup. This is a person that would help set up and break down, cleaning, organizing, setting up things for banquets, banquets and conventions, um, stocking, maintaining meeting rooms, being able to follow directions and work with a team. Many people are part of conference room setup, so there may be more, more than one of you assigned to this. So that's something to think about as well. The dishwasher is another position. It's a large hotel. And so there may be more than one of, a, one of you on the dishwasher, as the dishwasher. Some more jobs in the hotel. Hotel housekeeper, just that. You're gonna be responsible for keeping the rooms and other areas of the hotel clean, uh, making beds possibly, replacing towels, um, vacuuming, cleaning and disinfecting bathrooms, and ensuring new toiletries are provided by the hotel. Um, another job is maintenance assistance. This is also a cleaning position, but also helps with things like uh, making minor repairs for plumbing and lighting and maybe some light carpentry, moving equipment and furniture if needed. So the people that have that goodwill environmental services skill set would probably be a very good fit here if that's something you enjoyed. Some others, the hotline assistant in the kitchen, help plating each, each of the uh, meals from the kitchen, um, making sure people get what they need on their plates. Um, you have to have team work skills, work well as a team because you'll be working alongside many people at one time. 
And then we also have the laundry attendant, and this person is responsible for providing a constant supply of clean linens for the entire hotel. And there's a lot of linens. You have to think about all of the sheets and the towels and all the different, um, the bedding that they have in a hotel. So you'll be responsible for sorting and folding and ironing and um, putting it in the big machines. So those are some of the jobs. And like I said, there'll be more, I'm sure. So let's talk about how are you going to get to Project Search? So a school bus will be provided from Columbus City Schools that will pick you up at your home and bring you to Fort Hayes Career Center. When you get to Career Center or Fort Hayes Career Center, you'll have breakfast and then you'll be put on another bus and brought over to the host business or hotel. And then at the end of the day, around two o'clock, you'll get back on a bus and taken back to Fort Hayes where you'll get on your final bus to be taken home. Maria Angel is in charge of setting up all the busing. And this is something that she will be working on um, when the school, um, when we're back up. I mean, I know that she can work on some of it, but once we get everything uh, up and running with our, our host business, and she'll be contacting you. And then those are, your transportation is mailed over the summer. Um, so it's very important that we have the right address in the school system, because if we don't have the right address, we can't set up transportation. So if you moved since you were accepted into Project Search, if your address has changed or your phone number, I need you to email me, and my email address is right here. Um, and or call me there's um i have a contact slide on here that at the end so just if you've moved or had any changes i need to know that so i can get a hold of you all right next let's talk about um the, some forms that we're going to have to complete i've included some forms with this orientation that you will be able to access through this website that Fort Hayes has created. There's a link next to my, next to this on a chart that has um, a place where you'll be able to get in and get, get the um, necessary forms. Some of those forms are, is a student contract, an attendance contract, and a permission form for me to be able to transport students if needed for field trips or if somebody misses their bus, um, there's just things that come up and sometimes I have to help transport. But in order to do that, I have to have a permission slip on file. I like to just get one at the beginning of the school year so that I don't have to get a permission slip for every event we do. So those are explained um, more in the links um, and we will be going over those in more detail when we, when we finally are able to meet. If you are not able to print those documents. I do not want you to stress about it. I will just give them to you when we meet in person, um, either during the hotel tour or ice cream social, which we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. Some other required documents that are needed for employment uh, moving forward is that we're going to need a copy of your state ID which I think all of you had when we were um, in the interviews, if, I, if memory serves me correct, correctly, you would have to just be sure that it isn't expiring before the end of next school year. You'll also need um, your social security card. We just need a copy of that. And this is for you to get employment eventually. Also to work at the hotel, they'd like for us to have that information on file. And also um, Chelsea, our lead job coach will be getting a hold of you in the coming months um, to schedule your intake meeting with her um, in FTS. And the meeting will take place in August. And that's something that she'll be getting in contact with you. Also, I'm going to be contacting you because I'm hopeful that the world will begin opening again and we can meet to take a tour of the hotel. 
Um, if I have to conduct individual or small group tours, I will. I want to see, I want you to see where you are going. Um, I've only been over to the new um, site one time, and so I'm anxious to get back over to see it as well. Um, everything has been kind of crazy this school year with trying to get all this set up while I was trying to maintain the current project search and then with all of the shutting down of the schools and our world right now, everything's kind of been put on hold. So unfortunately, we're still in the process of setting everything up um, with the hope that things are going to get back to normal and that we can continue. So I will be calling um, each family once I'm able to reveal our host business and to take tours. So hopefully that will be soon. So stay tuned on that. Um, I'd also like to talk about um, our ice cream social. I always have an ice cream social um, in August, right before, usually the week before school starts back up um, for us to get together as a group, um, introduce ourselves, get acquainted a little bit, have some ice cream, um, fill out necessary forms. If we didn't get them completed, turn in those forms. Um, this is also, also the time where you'll be um, given your uniform polo shirts. Um, you're gonna get two black and one purple shirt where they have um, the little Project Search logo on them. So those will be given out to you at the Ice Cream Social. You are responsible, the interns are responsible to provide their own tennis shoes and khaki or black pants. And um, that's something that you can get over the summer. You can get those um, at a thrift store. Um, they're going to be work clothing, and so they are going to get dirty. So um, Walmart is a good place to go, and also like, a thrift store always has a lot of khaki and black pants. I definitely recommend a good pair of tennis shoes, ones that you are, um, do not mind getting dirty. I would wear your favorite tennis shoes. Um, and make sure they are not, you're not gonna fall. So something that has, you know, some grip to them. So we will be completing the forms. And again, if you're not, not able to print them from the Fort Hayes link for any reason, I'll have those forms available during the ice cream um, social or the tour. This last slide, I just have my contact information. Um, with my cell phone number, my email address. And the best thing about um, this virtual orientation is that you can go back and view it, take notes or have this information, have this without um, it being live, you can go back and, and watch it as many times as you'd like. So I'd like to go back and, um, or before I would like to, before we I end this, um, session is I would like to share a video um, of another project search program that is housed in a hotel. Um, I wanted to give you an example of a project search um, that's in a hotel and obviously I'm not able to provide you with any video because this is our first time and so I don't have anything like that. All of my examples are from the current location at Life Care Alliance. So this video I'm going to show you is a project search program that's located in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, and it takes place, theirs is in a embassy suites in Omaha, Nebraska. And they created a YouTube video about their program. So remember, this is not our site, but I wanted you to have an example of what, an, of what one looks like in action, because ours will be similar. Then next year, I will be able to share our video with the interns that are coming in at our hotel with all of you working. So I'm going to share um, that video with you. One second here. Hello again. Let me share the video.
can't say I was surprised, but I, I was a little surprised. Uh, a lot of us out here, I think, uh, kind of coast a little bit. In this business, it's sometimes hurry up and wait, and it's go, go, go. And sometimes I don't even have the energy to, to do it. Every project has a, it has a need that's not necessarily on the surface. It's just not that simple, really, for, for me. You asked me about making this film, and I came to you with the idea of creating a documentary that would tell the story of how people with special needs can function and perform and go way beyond. And I got to learn the lifestyle of being a laundry attendant, which I really enjoyed. And I ended up getting the job here for that. There's nothing about my job that I don't like. I love doing everything here. I was a houseman. I just folded clothes, separated, get them away for the housekeepers. I've been working here for a year, and I absolutely loved it here, especially in banquets. It's more than just set up tables. You got to be flexible. You got to be thorough. When I started, I was uh, I was 18. I came in here and I worked over in the dish pit that's right over there. And then my first project was to do five dozen cookies. That was the first thing I did as a chef. My role here is director of sales, which really means top line revenue for the hotel. That could be coming in banquet space or, or sleeping room revenue. Well, you need to address the business side. And Project Search began as a way to fill a need, which was high turnover positions. Hotels have high turnover positions also. And people with special needs that have come through the program are a perfect fit and they've, they fill those roles and 10 years on, they're still working in those roles. It's a business reason to find employees that want to be there because guess what, they infect those people around them and make them want to work harder as well. I come from a long family of teachers. When I was contacted on Project Search, um, we virtually didn't know anything about it, and they're like, well, tell us more. Project Search started in uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital back in 1996. It's a total immersion program. The kids are here all day. I thought, this is, this is something. This, this is hitting something really cool here. When I first started this program, I thought that I was going to hate it just because I, I was very self-conscious about my disabilities. I would have to say it was when, I, when Ms. Grace, my boss, came up to me and she told me that I, she was interested in hiring me. I, it just made me realize that I'm, I'm capable of doing so much more than I thought I was. I have accomplished the uh, independence, that's my highest, and um, my self-confidence that I'm able to ask for help when needed, and, and I'm able to increase my responsibility. Because it's a total immersion program, these kids are here all day, take part in, in whatever's going on at the, at the hotel, and the hotel embraces them and be, makes them part of that culture, and that's, that's why it works. I was carving up a prime rib, and it was for a like a 50-person banquet. One of the banquet captains comes back here, and she hands me a $100 bill and tells me it's a it was a tip from the host of the party. And apparently, nobody else in the entire kitchen had ever gotten a $100 tip. I was the first person. <laughs> uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy. When we can make that phone call and say, "Hey, they have an interview." hey, they have the job, I have to take them in for, for their orientation. Those are probably some of the best phone calls I've ever made because it's a relief to them, like, wow, okay, my kid can succeed, my kid can have a job, he's going to be successful. But there's no doubt when, when you hire students with special needs, individual special needs, or if you have a host site and you learn to grow with these students that learn themselves, you, you won't say, gee, why do we do this? What a waste of time. You'll see the growth of the people that you've taken on board. You'll see the growth of those individuals you've employed. You'll see the growth in your own employees. And I'm not just saying, again, a charity case here. I'm saying give them a chance. The kids come in in a cocoon, and they come in in August very shy and very withdrawn. And then we focus on that student's strength throughout the year. They go through their rotations, and by the end, um, we're ready to let them fly. And um, there's nothing better than telling that kid, you've got this job. It's pretty cool.
what began as uh, an idea of getting a video set in a hotel a hospitality setting to show that uh, kids with special needs we say kids with special needs but really we've just we've just met Sean we've met Amy we've met Bruce we've met individuals Darian these are people surprise surprise we know that there's individuals now because they're part of our team they're, and you know them as well they're part of the crew my little notebook has been pretty valuable I would say because it's helped me to keep track of all the things that we've been doing they need someone to keep track of the schedule otherwise they will lose focus I never really expected to make a movie before I'm just I was suspected to work at a hotel, so being able to make a movie is really a changing experience. Actually, yes, I did had uh, had a great time with this uh, this camera crew. It was my first time uh, operating a camera like like this one, because you know uh, the the cameras like this are tend to get expensive these days. Uh yeah, I learned a fair bit. I uh, learned what a C this thing is. I, I still call it a close a clothespin. <laughs> uh, I was the gaffer. Uh, lighting stuff. All the lights that are in the background that you can't see. <laughs> oh, it's a sound and and help Steve with the sound and stuff. Good and exciting. I think the value is uh, we both get an education, and I've had the good fortune to, uh, to uh, work on stories that uh, mean something to me personally. And I think that now that I got a chance to work on this project and this film with these, these young people, that, that's been the most exciting thing for me, is just seeing these kids really get challenged, really get pushed in the right environment in a positive way. There's no question that when we were working together, um, there's just this total different aura about you know, this pride in work and this value in effort. And what started as an idea to tell people about, hey, it, it fits in the hospitality world just as well as it fits in hospitals. Uh, the question now is what other industries are out there. The question now is how far up, where else can they go? I'm excited, I'm super excited. What better way to make a movie than to embrace the whole project search model, making the movie themselves, that's the coolest part. If you're hiring somebody with an ASD, just um, just let let them let them work their best. That would be great for them, and they would be actually be grateful for you. Definitely, not just the hotel industry, but it could expand to multiple different companies if companies are willing to give people like us a chance. I think Project Search is a great program for someone who really needs help getting into the workers for us. You meet so many people who are so caring towards someone, they, they don't really acknowledge that you're a special needs student, they acknowledge you as a person that has the capabilities of working, they just need to be taught. Exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to making our video next year at our site. Um, I just thought it would be nice to share that so that you can actually see what other Project Search students are getting out of this program, whether it be at a hospital, Life Care Alliance, or a hotel. So I'm really excited to come up beside you and learn how to work in a hotel. And we're going to learn so many new and exciting things this year. And I'm just looking forward to it so much. Um, again, 
don't forget to go get the forms, um, fill those out and get them ready for our tour. And I will be in contact with you shortly, I hope, and um, to schedule those tours. But I will be contacting you as soon as possible to reveal where our hotel is. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do that here. Um, I was told I could not yet. So um, it will be worth the wait, I promise. See you soon.